Hello YouTube, uh, this is Tom Snowy737 uh, back again with another review. Um, you might have already seen my uh, Cafe Pacific Cargo 747-200 review. Uh, I mentioned this review in that video so it might be better to check out that video first uh, before you watch this video. Either way, well, you can watch this video before, it doesn't really matter. Um, now, this particular, I kind of want to make this review sort of special um because i well i've i can't remember s seeing uh britannia in this particular livery um like in real life like i can't actually remember seeing it as an actual aircraft um like you know like sort of face to face if you get what i mean um I've, obviously i've seen photos of it like on the internet but this um I, I did actually fly with Britannia in 2004, uh, before uh, Doncaster Airport opened. Um, because we used to fly from Manchester, and obviously I think it was, I think Britannia actually merged um, with, no, Britannia actually uh, changed to Thompson um, in... I think it was either late 2004 or early 2005 and then Thompson obviously started doing flights from Doncaster um, I flew with Britannia when they were in the two livery, at livery uh, on the 757-200 this is the livery before that um, Britannia 767-300 um, Britannia over the years have had a few liveries uh, they started services with the 737s, 200s and the 707s. Um, I have wanted them as well uh, in the 1400 scale. Um, I just, even though they are sort of models that I, that are on my most wanted list, I haven't really, I have got the chance to buy them, but I just sort of, you know, there's been other stuff that I've wanted instead, so... Uh, you know, I've, uh, that's, I haven't actually got them yet. Um, as far as, as far as I'm aware, uh, Britannia started, um, well, I, I'm not entirely sure. I think Britannia actually started on their own. I don't think they merged with anyone. Um, I don't think any airline merged with another airline to form Britannia, um, I think Britannia was like an original airline, um, if you understand me. Um, you know, not like Thompson Fly, um, because that was formerly Britannia. Um, and obviously these um, LBYH, I'm, I'm guessing that is probably still flying now uh, in Thompson livery. Uh, obviously LBYG, um, is because that's now painted in a new livery for Thompson Airways so it's sort of uh, you know it's sort of a history um, now in the 100 scale as soon as I get my custom Thompson Airways 757-200 I will have sort of like a series of like a, you know a line of history because I'll have this model um, then the Thompson Fly, and then the Thompson Airways, and then the new Thompson Airways, which will be on the uh, 787. Um, you know, so it's sort of like a range. Um, I'm extremely happy. Well, you know, this was one. This was a probably at the top of my most wanted list uh, for a, a few years now. I'm uh, I'm extremely happy to have finally have got this model. Um, for obvious reasons, um, if it, well, if you're not entirely sure what reason it is, then I'll just mention now. Basically, Brit obviously, Britannia was part of two, and then they merged with two. Uh, they became Thompson Fly, uh, so you know that's why. Um, so now we'll just get on. Well, the actual model itself, we'll just start the review now. Um, the actual model itself, I'm not sure if it's actually yellowy um i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that on the video i'm not really sure. well on the video it actually does look white um 
as I'm recording now. Um, it might not do when it's once it's uploaded, but from where I am, it sort of looks a bit yellowish. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be like that or whether it's just sunlight. Um, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, I'm not. I'm, it's not a big fuss for me. Uh, so we we'll start from the front. This is this particular model is by Aero, Aero Classic, so the Aero Classics model. Um, with the nose, lovely shape of the seven six seven nose. You've got the wipers and the obviously cockpit windows. Um, as I say, the, in this livery, it wasn't actually part of Tui, um, because it was just Britannia Direct. Um, they've actually got that printed on the uh, rear fuselage you might be able to see that uh, obviously Britannia and the famous Britannia um, sort of face silhouette um, you can see that there um, lovely um, they the titles I mean I, Aero Classics as I've said before are probably the top manufacturer so I can't really to see how it could be faulted in any way. I'm not sure about the doors. Uh, they are sort of like they have like a yellow outer, um, like where the doors are. They've got like a yellow print, uh, you know, to represent the doors. I'm not sure if Britannia actually had um, a yellow outline. I'm not really sure uh, on that. And then, well, you've got two front doors there. Um, you've got obviously got the windows below the Britannia, um, and then you've also got uh, these windows here. No windows are actually blanked out. Um, like there, you've got gaps, but that's not actually where windows are supposed to be anyway. Uh, the registration of this particular model is Golf Oscar Bravo Yankee Hotel. Um, G O B Y H. Um, so yeah, I think that is still flying now. Uh, obviously now in Thompson. Uh, I'm guessing it will still be in the Thompson Fly um, colours with the Fly.com. Or oh, it could yeah probably Fly.com. Um, and obviously we've got the famous. Well, it might not be famous to some people, like if you live in the states, but. This um, icon on the tail, as you might put it, represents Britannia. Britannia meaning British, um, if you're unsure what Britannia actually means. Britannia actually offered a really good service. Um, if anyone ever flew with them, I don't think they could or would uh, fault them in any way. Um, obviously, if there was a delayed flight, then that the airline can't possibly really can't help that um, yeah, it could be due to several reasons um, but yeah if you ever see that icon then you well you should automatically know that it's Britannia or represents Britain because uh, obviously you've got the British uh, well the Union Jack flag there is like a shield and you've got like a sort of like a fork uh, there and then I'm guessing I'm guessing it's supposed to be a lady, uh, Lady uh, Britannia. Uh, I'm not sure if, you know. Well, at the time Britannia came out, um, I think it well, was uh, an actual airline. I think it must have been uh, representing the Queen. Uh, and that's why it's sort of like replicating a woman. Uh, so the Queen of uh, England. Um, well, I'm guessing she's. I think she's actually the Queen of the UK, um, featuring Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. Uh, apologies if it's just England. Um, to be honest, I really don't care about... Well, it might sound a bit selfish, but I don't really see the point in having a Queen because she don't really... I don't understand what she does uh, for the country, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can understand in the past years when we've had King and Queens that they they own that, but apart from owning the, you know, I, well, the Queen is getting, to, to, in all fairness, she's, I don't know, about 87, 86 or something like that. She's getting on a bit. Um, 
you know, I kind of see it's, I kind of find it a bit pointless in the way that she's got to pass away in order for it to be passed on to the next generation. Um, I don't see why she can't just sort of give it up now and then give it to someone that's sort of more mobile, if you... Um, apologies if you are fond of the Queen, um, Queen of England. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be sort of funny about her. Um, I'm just saying what, my, well, basically my opinion. So if you don't like my opinion, then it's tough because I've just said it. Um, but yeah, this, uh, the, uh, well, I've shown you, oh yeah, that's what I was going to show you. Uh, as you can see there, uh, you might not be able to see that clear enough, but it says uh, com with the Boeing 767-300 Boeing titles underneath the windows. And then obviously Britannia have had had a famous striped uh, livery. Um, now, I have had, well... Before this, before I actually found this model on eBay, um, I was uh, speculating about the Garuda Indonesia um, 767-300, which is in the Britannia hybrid colours, so it's got the stripes uh, and everything, apart, well, not the actual same tail logo, it's got the Garuda Indonesia uh, logo, but um, I know someone who was offering me um that at uh, the Gruden Indonesia uh, version. So where the Britannia what titles will be you've got Gruden Indonesia and then you've got the tail fin um in the logo of Gruden Indonesia. Um I kinda think it would be a good addition along with this particular model. Um I'm not really sure what registration that one is. I think I think that's actually G O B Y G. Um or is that G O B? It could actually be a G O B Y I. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but um, if you think I should get the Garuda Indonesia uh, to fit along with this model, and then sort of use both aircraft as sort of like, um, you know, back in the day at Manchester, because that's what I'll be doing. I'll be doing sort of photos and videos that featuring aircraft that used to fly. Or which have like since changed like liveries and such. Um, I kind of do want it. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't, but at this well, the thing is at this moment in time, I'm I'm sort of trying to stop because I'm selling a few stuff on eBay. Uh, I want to save that money until I get a next uh, payment, and then don't spend a certain amount. Um, because I need to sort of, I've had a few models arrive recently and it's sort of getting a bit out of hand. Uh, well, not out of hand, I won't say it's getting out of hand, it's just sort of, um, I won't say dragging on, like, but I don't really know how to work, but it's getting a bit silly. Uh, that's Yeah, that's the word. A bit silly in the way that I'm getting models sort of like new enough every other day. Um, so I kind of feel like this aircraft, um, should be the last one for uh, how many, might probably for about a month. Um, or at least until I get like bank some more money. Um, so yeah, uh, just like to mention that um, I was thinking about getting the Aer Lingus ATR released by Gemini Jets uh, for March releases, but would I don't really see you won't really see that round at Manchester Terminal Two, so that's another thing I need to start focusing on the material for the Pro Manchester Airport project because I'm pretty sure that some of you guys on YouTube who subscribed to me kind of thought, oh wow he's doing Manchester and then it's sort of gone dead and you're probably thinking, oh well he's probably not even going to finish it off now. Uh, I can understand if you do think that. Um, but hopefully I'll be, uh, well, I might actually buy the card later today and then stick that all down and then actually get underway with drawing it all out again and then trying to find these pencil, chalk pencils I want. Um, I'll leave the video here now. Um, oh, I'd just like to mention though, 
apologies for not doing the second um, update of this like special airport um, thing that I was going to do. Uh, obviously, I did the first part, and as I said, I might not be able to do the thing, but I might do that later today. Or, well, at least I'll have like three videos to upload. Um, I can do it. I, I can do it. Um, but yeah, obviously, it might be a bit of time because each video takes roughly about. I don't know, about an hour to sort of like save and then publish, so it could be quite a, a long time. And we've also got someone coming later, which uh, might stop me. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and get, I'll try and do that video pretty soon. Um, well, when I say pretty soon, I'll try and get it done as soon as possible. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and sort of the story of why I've got it, the story of Britannia. Um, if you didn't know anything about it, you can also check out Wikipedia or other airline websites. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I didn't mention that in my last in the Cathay Pacific cargo review. Uh, but yeah, it does help a lot when people do um, subscribe, and like, and comment. Um, if you have any questions then please leave that in the comment or if you prefer to private message me then private message me um but yeah that's all for now thanks for watching again uh bye